Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Leon Legray back with another YouTube video. Um, now, I haven't done any uh, vlogs or streaming as of lately. Uh, now, I would say the last time I uh, did stream was actually not too long ago. It was around um, a few couple days back when I was streaming uh, Corona Trigger uh, right on the Steam client. So, I figured this would be a very good idea to go out and say um, what I have to say. And I'm sure many of you know from reading the title of this video, which I'm going to go ahead and say it here and there. And let's get straight to the point. Now, a, a few days ago, I had a, a big decision I went ahead and made. It uh, wasn't the most easiest decision, but coming... Uh, Full front with um, the way I wanted to go through with the platform I was in with Twitch and for me I've been streaming there for a long time on and off of course it hasn't it's not the most consistent streams I've gone I've stayed with the platform but e either way I've had stayed and streamed there uh, back and forth now looking back right now and going through the community on uh, Twitch and going through the website, it has changed a lot. And I'm not going to go out and say that um, this was the all-perfect platform. My issue, I would say, with just like everybody else, uh, is the discoverability, which, uh, on, very honestly, the discoverability on that platform um, is probably the one of the worst single uh, factors on that um, website, which... In my argument, they should have done this and fixed this a long time ago, per personally as well. Now, I would say that's one of the things that's going to be uh, a big factor when it comes down to for me to move. And for me, the way I see this is that Twitch is not the website I used to know. And, uh, the, and it's like the more I say on a platform, uh, with, it's not, it's not going to get better. And I've noticed with um, uh, over time, when it comes down to uh, things in the platform, uh, look, I have to say that um, just like anything else, look, I get it. Creators have to make money through advertisements, so uh, some form of income one way or the other. Uh, and you know what? And it's fine, perfectly fine if, uh, if you need to make money, which is nothing wrong with that at all. Now, the one of the factors I can say is that with the platform um and with twitch i decided look it's been fine and and it's all good but um even though i would say that google in the other hand is no angels on its own i'm definitely switching over fully to youtube live uh, looking with the way things have um things have uh, pretty much spurred out over the years um Honestly, I would take uh, YouTube Live over Twitch. And I'm going to get into the reasons why. And for one, I would say that one of the big factors with the uh, full-on Switch, it's um, it's actually pretty easy. Um, I'm sure that some of you guys have heard about the, uh, uh, the events that went on, especially with uh, VTubers being either canceled or gained their accounts suspended for no reason. And um, I've actually had this com private conversation through uh, Discord, and that's almost led me to uh, look into switching to other um, things about this too. And honestly, though, I actually know uh, someone that for a long time, I would say about for over 15 years, he's a VTuber, and looking at it right there, I just don't see why uh, um, a platform like that, a platform that's pretty much owned by Amazon, a multi-billion dollar company, go out and start to, um, um, banning people or suspending people, uh, VTubers account for no reason other than just being a VTuber. And it doesn't really make sense uh, uh, um, for me personally, because looking at, at this and uh, this angle, now here's what I can say is that for me, they don't do any harm uh, to any creator whatsoever. Uh, the problem I find with the whole situation is that, from one, 
uh, Twitch, I think Twitch has become so out of line with the way they've been going at it. And especially, especially with content creators, especially um, being so vile. And they're not really, really friend, uh, friendly towards creators. And this is why I kind of, I've looked over this and, and this decision of mine decided to um, uh, actually, it actually influenced me during a conversation. And it was a big conversation throughout one of the, one of the discords I went on and I decided, you know what, even though I've been through Twitch for a couple years, there's no reason for me to stay. And I looked back into it and I said, you know what, I already have my YouTube channel uh, uh, with authorized with uh, two-factor authentication uh, for a couple years now and to me right now the way I see with Twitch the um, writing is just on the wall and I don't and my, for me personally I don't think uh, um, the way Amazon, Amazon especially Twitch as a platform in general it's just not doing too well and I will say that um, this is something I just can't accept um, the way things are shifting in the platform. And look, I have uh, people I know that still stream on Twitch. Um, but hey, if they cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel or the writing on the wall just like I do, you know, that's that's on them. And to me, I stopped um, I stopped uh, subscriptions through um, to my favorite content creators through through Twitch because uh, for me, honestly, it's um, I wasn't getting the value, uh, especially, um, which I was having fun. Don't get me wrong. When I was in the platform, problem is, I just don't. I just don't want to put money into a platform where they still discriminate uh, certain viewers, but then they will um, they'll take advantage for the fact that they will let other creators do whatever they the hell they uh, they want, right? So. Well, woohoo! That's all. Um, that's all wonderful and shit. Until other platform creators can get away with it. And now, for example, uh, for instance, um, especially the um, the CEO uh, Dan Clancy, where I I, I follow him up uh, time to time. But um, during one of the conversations through uh, uh, through um, uh, Discord chat, I remember one of the things. Um, they brought up is uh, that um, he, um, Dan Clancy is definitely picking favors uh, for certain content creators and where I think somebody mentioned the term Gooner um, I will have to put down on the screen uh, which basically he'll uh, pick um, uh, con certain content creators and when I say certain content creators I mean like uh, someone that's in you know in the nude side of things too and I, um, <laughs> I think it's crazy that they still get away with um, content creators like that, especially with um, the pool and uh, hot tub uh, meta. Look, people uh, do whatever they want. I think it's fine. But by the time you, uh, uh, by the time you start to stretch out certain um, certain metas, like the forbidden ones, we're talking about. Um, like nude and pornography, that's uh, stretching out of line because that is very bad, especially when you still have minors going in the um, uh, going in the website, going through stupid um, the channels, and you know there is no restriction over that too. It is really bad, horribly bad. Personally, I don't support it, and this is why I'm out. I'm out of uh, Twitch. And just uh, going to YouTube Live, I think the way I see it, YouTube Live is now a, a home that I like. And to me, it's not something, at least, even though YouTube has had its problems years ago, but it at least when it had its problems back then, uh, at least Google made the attempts to fix it. That was one thing I can say, good on, good on them. Personally, I don't... Um, I don't like where the platform is going through and and where the direction it's going through. And so that's why, in my view, in my take, I'm out. I'm out of there. I'm out of the platform and switching up to uh, 
um, to uh, YouTube Live. Now, if you guys wanted to see me through other uh, through other platforms, I do uh, dual stream, which is YouTube and uh, Kick.com. So I don't just stream onto just solely on that platform. I wanted to make sure and be clear about about this as well. That while YouTube will be my main home, Twitch on the other hand, or excuse me, Kick on the other hand, uh, will be a a secondary home for me too. So if you decide, if you guys decide, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch on to a place like uh, a Kick, and, and if you guys want to watch me on Kick, absolutely cool. And however, this video would have turned into a tweet, but I decided. Um, uh, a video would have been a much more appropriate uh, uh, form of um, announcing my departure out of uh, Twitch, uh, from Twitch to YouTube Live, because I and honestly, I think it's just much, be much better doing it on a video um, form instead of just going through uh, and, and through a tweet and tweet it out or Instagram it, because honestly, I think it's much better if I had um, said this out there and just let it go at this point too. And to me, this was a very appropriate uh, way to go through it because honestly, I don't think, like I've said, uh, right from the very beginning, um, I don't even think Twitch as a company will uh, will continue to stay as a company for too long. I don't know uh, how long that's going to be. In fact, even though, yes, it is part of Amazon, I get it. And they are uh, getting a uh, good backing from Amazon personally. It's not being run well with good people in the background and, and God knows what. Because, and I will tell you one thing is that if they're going to um, ban somebody, like let's say one one day they'll end up doing this to me or one of these days. To me, I'd rather be on YouTube than having to go through uh, Twitch. Even though I would have done this uh, full switch on before beforehand. And um, even though I had some issues and some things were questionable with kick at the time i decided look i'm i'm definitely going to make uh, a full-on switch and i've talked to other creators and for me in my personal view even though a lot of the creators that uh, transitioned from you know, one year ago from uh, twitch to kick and then guess what i found some people that with that did transition ended up um, <laughs> uh, migrating back onto Twitch because of the whole situation last year, which if you guys know what I'm talking about, well, you know, um, with certain creators. And I think a lot of people were very much uh, dis displeased, basically. So, <laughs> but um, uh, that's pretty much what I, I wanted to go out and say, because I like, I've, like I'll put it this way. I don't, um, I don't like the direction things are going, and it is t definitely time to move on, out. So, with that said, I'll be back, uh, coming back at you on streaming um, RPGs, action adventures, um, platformers, so on and so forth too. So, I know this coming week I will be playing um, Chrono Trigger, a, a JRPG classic, which I'll be definitely be coming back into, which is absolutely cool, and. Uh, and I have to say, this is like probably my second playthrough playing uh, Chrono Trigger, and I'm just excited playing that game. So it's it's just an awesome game, an awesome classic game. I, I just wanted to get back into. But anyways, that's all I wanted to say. So if you guys wanted to check me out on uh, uh, YouTube, I'll that's going to be my uh, primary home. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, thanks for your time and thanks for watching. And adios, so long.